Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to implement our four buttons. That is the forward, the backward, the refresh and the clear buttons. So the first thing that we are going to do is implement the on click listener to all the four buttons, just like we did with the go button. So we are going to do something like forward because we have named our variable as forward over here, forward, back, clear, reload. So what we are going to do, we are going to type forward dot set on click listener new on click listener and on click something is going to come up. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this four times because we have four buttons. And then I'm going to rename the second one as back. The third one as reload, the fourth one as clear. Now that we have implemented the on click listeners on all the four buttons, we are going to go to the forward one. In the forward one, we are going to put an if condition if brow dot can go for can go forward brow dot go forward. Now what this does is it checks whether the browser can go forward or not. So for example, if we have opened the browser for the first time and we press the forward button, there is nothing to go forward to. That's why it's not going to work and it's going to throw an error. That's why we are first checking if the browser can go forward or not. If the browser can go, go forward, then we are going to use the inbuilt function of go forward to implement browser go forward. Then we are going to do the same thing in backwards. So we are first going to type in if then brow and brow is nothing but simply our web view variable then we are going to type in dot can go back if it can go back then brow dot go back then in the reload button we are going to do brow dot reload that's it. We, that's, we, it's just one line and it will reload the browser. In the fourth one, we are going to do brow dot clear history. So our history will be cleared and the browser won't go forward or backward. So this is pretty much it. Let's run the application and see if it works or not. For that, I'll click this play button and my Genymotion emulator has already been started. So I'm just going to wait for the application to run. And if we open our Genymotion emulator right now, as you can see, our browser has opened. So if you go to google.com and then press the go button, google.com will open. And after that, if you go to youtube.com and press the go button, the YouTube will open. Now, if we want to go back, we'll just press on the go button and we'll go back. And if you want to go back to YouTube, we'll just press the forward button and we'll go to YouTube. And if you want to reload, reload YouTube, we'll just press the refresh button. It will refresh and if you press the clear button, it doesn't show anything but the history has been cleared. So if you press the back button, it shouldn't work now and it's not working now. So this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are actually going to make a loader for this web browser so for example if you right now open google.com it doesn't show any kind of indication that the website is opening so we'll fix that in the next video